If you're viewing in color, Peralta in the white trunks, Foreman in the blue and black and white. Peralta in the light trunks, Foreman in the dark. Foreman at 213, Peralta 198. Peralta, the seasoned fighter, ninth rated among the heavyweights, the first testing challenge for the 21-year-old Foreman, who has only fought 15 times professionally, but won 13 by way of knockout. Peralta with 85 bouts under his belt. 73 victories, five defeats, seven draws. Peralta will use his experience trying to stay away from the bigger, stronger, younger man. Foreman with a left that is like a lamppost. A recurring piston, if you will. Foreman Blue. Crowd's excited about this fight because it's testing challenge the young Olympic champion has had professionally up till now. Couldn't have expected otherwise because of Peralta's ranking and because of his experience. Again, a near slip by Peralta. A left, a glancing left by Foreman as Peralta was off balance. Did no damage. Some blood over Foreman's right eye. It appears to be Yes, there is a slit just over Foreman's right eye. Perhaps you can detect it. Does not appear serious at this moment unless the flow of blood starts to go down into the eye. Now Foreman is belaboring Peralta, and for the first time, Peralta appears a little tired. Seconds left in round five with Peralta fighting back, but obviously tired. Blood over Foreman's right eye. Good combination by Paul. Coming in strongly against Peralta now. But Peralta taking the punches. Once Willie Pastrano never noted as a puncher. Stopped Peralta in the fifth round, but that was because of cuts. Peralta has always been a determined competitor. for George Foreman. Unofficial scoring around ringside, very close. Foreman slightly in the lead. The seasoned Peralta doing just about what the matchmaker Teddy Brenner expected. Putting up a whale of a battle against the younger, stronger man, giving away 15 pounds, but using his experience to tie Foreman up on the inside, never to give Foreman the leverage for the thunderous lefts and rights that he was able to use as an amateur in his first 15 professional fights. Putting him down, but for all the hurt. Paul is calling on all his guile, trying to tie Foreman up inside. Foreman pushing him off. Crowd sensing the kill. For all now in the corner, as you see.
Foreman flailing away at him. And not landing the one good punch that could put him down. left of an exciting round with Foreman belaboring Parola but Parola gamely fighting back. The only sign of blood in the fight was Foreman's blood. The crowd yells as Parola lands a right. As Parola attempts to buffet Foreman with a couple of more rights. Foreman's blood above the right eye. A minor sweat. Never amounted to anything up to this point. Best round in the fight for Foreman. The ninth round. The one just over. We're in the tenth. We have about two minutes left in the fight. Scoring on a round system. Supplemental point system if the rounds are even. This is a town for underdogs. It's the city of the Mets and the city of the Jets, and they love to see the underdog come on. Foreman looks really tired to this report. Really tired. He is doubtless in the lead in the scoring, but you never really know. The fight is not that widely disparate. He was not hit. He was not hurt. Crowd yelling because of their feeling for the underdog. This has been one well of a 10-rounder. Even before the heavyweight championship fight. Judges have rendered their decision. Now Johnny Addy.